Guys, I've been such a bad vlogger, I don't even know if I'm going to end up uploading this and putting it on YouTube because I missed out so much of the day and I do feel really bad about it, but let's just see what happens for the rest of the week. Though I'm supposedly supposed to be vlogging. Um, yeah, when I, when I got back this morning, I was going to, to vlog, but then I just fell asleep because I was so tired. I only got about four hours sleep last night, which was surprisingly a really, really good amount of sleep. A, a really good sleep, despite it only being four hours, but I was still really exhausted when I got up. And then I just, yeah, came, <laughs> came back and fell asleep and went to my tutorial. And then I met up with Nick, my husband, which I'm really sorry. I always know that I just talk in my vlogs and I don't actually show you stuff that I'm doing, which is why I'm annoyed because I really wanted to do that this week and just show and film everything. But I just completely forgot because I was just being kind of out of it because after the ball, last night which I did vlog and you'll see you have seen the clips I've just been too tired to even remember to kind of vlog so yeah I did go with my hus my college husband Nick to go and buy carnations for our college son Rory who's doing his English exams they start tomorrow so we bought him the carnations at Oxford traditionally when you do exams um, your college parents will buy you carnations there's a white one a pink one and a red one the white one signifies that you're doing your first exam you pin it to your gown when you have to go to your exams the pink one you wear in between your first and your last exam and then on your last exam you wear the red one so that people know you are finishing your exams so yeah we bought him those and we also bought him a Ben's cookie and we've just left them in his pigeonhole to go and pick up so that's really nice for him to go and do and I've come back to my room again just been on my phone researching other things and reading emails but now I'm going to finally crack down and start doing my reading or well, continue doing my reading for my essay due tomorrow which is my last deadline of term, thankfully. And then second year is over in terms of work. I leave on Saturday though, so I still got the second half of the week. Alice is visiting tomorrow as well, after I've submitted my last um, essay and had my last tutorial. So that I'm very excited because we haven't seen each other. I mean, we saw each other I think a month ago, but it still feels like a long time. I've got formal tonight as well, which is because I unfortunately couldn't book off formal. I'm gonna just try and get on with some work, go to bed early, wake up really early, and just try and get my routine back on track. <laughs> Actually, before I do all of that, I've just realised I need to send off um, some questions uh, for my interviews that I'm doing for the Oxford Law Society magazine because I'm the verdict editor. So I've got to send off those interview questions and hopefully get responses soon so I can compile the articles. <laughs> just woken up from a four hour nap it was not meant to be four hours it's supposed to be half an hour i missed formal and it's now i think just 10 o'clock so i'm just i'm way too tired i still feel really dizzy i drink a lot of water then go to bed and wake up really early and just get all the, my last bit of work done for term but it's a bit crazy I'm just it just obviously goes to show that i <laughs> didn't sleep much yesterday and i just really needed it but yeah i'm kind of just what to have to end to be honest i'm just I need, a, I need to just go home and I need to just sleep and yeah, I'm kind of just ready for the term to be over and I'm ready to enjoy summer and get a lot of stuff done. There will have been a video by the time this video goes out saying um, what my summer plans are, which are quite exciting, um, but yeah, very busy summer, so lots to do. Good morning everyone. I'm just having my, about to have my last tutorial of term and then I'm pretty much done for second year, which is crazy. So this morning it's been quite a late one because I <laughs> had a really long sleep and this morning I just spent the past hour or so just reading over my notes and reading over some of the things that we're going to be discussing in the tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I've got a friend visiting later today, uh, coming up from London for the day. So that'll be really nice. And I think we're going to go punting. So I can take you along for all of that.
I've just finished my last ever tutorial of term and we we're doing a Roman history paper so it's not actually the end of teaching of learning all of the stuff for that paper because we still have they're taught in 12 weeks so I've got another four weeks left next term so it wasn't the last ever tutorial with my tutor or my tutorial partner I've just come back to my room I was supposed to vlog with my tutorial partner but then we ended up chatting and then he was in a rush so uh, he left and then I just bumped into my other tutor who I haven't seen in a while who hasn't taught me because he doesn't teach after mods I'm back now doing a couple of oh, yeah, well, that's I need to just send a couple of emails and sort out a couple of things. I've got about half an hour to do this before my friend from home, Alice, arrives. And that's when this vlog will start getting a bit more interesting. <laughs> We have lunch at Edamame and we're just um, getting a cash out because we don't have cash. How did you find it? That was nice. <laughs> you call it special. <laughs> just going to check my pigeonhole. Open it, please. Oh. Oh, I've got nothing, nothing. Just going to an Oxwib committee meeting now at Tell Street Kitchen. garden to have a, a lie a down, a little catch up and a lie down. Play so some music. Got my speakers to play some music. Should be good. <laughs> it's all these things flying on us and they're everywhere. So annoying. <laughs> There's so much. What is this? We are relocating to the park because look at all of this in our hair. <laughs> it's all over the blanket and all over everything so yeah we're moving we've now moved to uni park so we've been to tesco got some snacks for punting later and we're now just chilling in uni parks away from all the <laughs> flying <laughs> oh, all the <laughs> yeah all the pollen We're just handing it to you, and then we're gonna get put everything away. I've been punting since I was 17, and I'm in the end of my second year, and I'm not good at punting. Guys, there's a tree. There's a tree. Wait, I'm on the new. Guys, there's a tree. There's a tree. This is a hard arm workout. I'm not gonna lie. And a balancing act. <laughs> so Ollie's joined us from this riverbank here. He just. You just jump back, jump right on. <laughs> Professional, and Professional, and now we're just we're enjoying the ride. Them. It's such a scary pun. <laughs> but this thing is really wobbly, it's really weird. <laughs> no, it's just the like. I didn't manage to finish the vlog yesterday, but when I got back and Catherine and Alice left, I went straight off to the Law Society Committee dinner that we had because it's the end of term. Mr. Worldwide Television Mr. Worldwide, Mr. Worldwide, aka Mr. Worldwide, aka Mr. Still Your Girl, Mr. Still Your Girl, Mr. Take Pictures of Your Girl. That's real that actually sounded really creepy. <laughs> I hope I saved that. What? What, Mr. Mr. Take Pictures of Your Girl? Mr. Take Pictures of Your Girl. Are we going to go by a school show in it? Yeah. Where are we, Caleb? We're at Pizza Program. It's really pizza, you know. You know what it is. Well, I'm not eating pizza. Ginny's currently eating pizza. It's actually calzone. It's calzone. What's the difference? Pink bone. Pink bone. 
to follow the future. I don't know a lot of things is what you will find. Give me things. Yeah. <laughs> I've just this morning woken up. So for the past half an hour or so I've been to I've just done the first uh, session of learning Italian with Rosetta Stone. They're a language company where you can learn loads and loads and loads of different languages with them. They have three months, six month and 12 month programs, I think. I'm trying out learning Italian for three months using their apps to kind of see what I think about how it works and whether it's effective or not. So far it's been really quite fun um, and really interactive. So if you are interested, they have a free demo that you can do. I'll leave all of these in the description box below have a free demo with any language and if you actually like what you see then you can sign up um, with, for any of the su subscriptions and you can get a discount with my discount code viola50 so yeah go and check them out and if you want a full review then wait for another two months and it will be out on my blog kind of forgot to vlog today whoops <laughs> sorry guys um but essentially i need to start packing up i i said this before and i just didn't even i didn't even do any packing um so I need to start doing a bit of that and then I might go out later to bridge like right when it gets like slightly later into the night but I don't know I'm quite tired and everyone's saving themselves to the bot tomorrow but I'm not sure that could happen but I've just got my room is so messy and there's so 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 much stuff to start packing and going through and I know tomorrow I don't have enough time and especially as we have the bop I don't want to be doing an all-nighter trying to get it all packed up so I'm just going to try and get as much done not as much done, I'm not gonna get that much done, but I just want to make a start. So I think I'm gonna take a, take down all of my notice board and then just actually clean up the things which are all scattered around my room and then it's all ordered and then I can actually then start thinking about how I'm going to put it into boxes and things like that. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a long night if I don't go out because then I'll just continue packing. <laughs> I know I haven't vlogged much all day, but it's been just a rush trying to return library books, catch up with a few friends, have coffee, have this and that, and you know, you don't really pick up your phone and film all of that stuff. I still need to take down lots of my lights and take down lots of other bits and bobs, but I've kind of packed away all of my crockery. I've just got, once I've done all of that in the back bit, it's mainly just clothes and random like books and stuff and my shoes. Oh, I don't know what that light was. So I think I can get all of that done after after the bop. If I, I probably won't sleep much, but yeah i don't really have much time to do it now because i need to quickly get ready for guest night which i'm going to which is the last one of term and it's mainly for third years so i'm going to go and have one last big meal like it's quite fancy with my third year friends before they obviously leave and graduate <laughs> rush that happens at the end of term I just come back from the bop it's about half past four and i've got to still pack up every single thing <laughs> in my room so yeah just kind of wish me luck i've done my crockery and i've done my cushions from my seating area but i still got basically all my clothes all my folders all my toiletries everything in every single drawer um all the stuff like on my desk everything so it's going to be a big long night so i've got four hours until my aunt comes to pick me up because my mum can't even pick me up yeah, I'm just gonna get on with it. It's gonna be an all-nighter again. I'm just gonna hopefully be able to sleep in the car. <laughs>